Hi everyone and welcome back to some more XCOM Tall Legacy Operations. So, we are on mission 4 of the Lazarus project and our objective here is to rescue and extract Peter Osei. He is right here. And the extraction zone is over there, a little bit far away. Alright then, let's get started. We'll send our Reaper as usual. Let's see if we got some targets for the first turn. Because we got some nice high ground. Nope, no targets here. Alright then. Anyone? Nope. Well, I guess it's time to leave the high ground then. As much as I like it, we can't stay here, unfortunately. We need to keep moving. Let's make sure we stay in cover, shall we? So that will do. Uh, I think we found something. Because I can't dub. Yup. Okay, heavy mech, advanced officer and I didn't see the other two. Alright then, I guess we'll take care of them on the next turn. We can move a little bit closer with Solomon. Here. That will do. Yep, they are moving towards us a little bit. Wait, was that two separate groups? No, the mech is right there. We could actually just ignore them if we want to. Oh, hi, another group. Osei was a man after my own heart. A gung-ho leader who was willing to put his own ass on the line to stop Advent, when and wherever he could. He may not have been a strategic mastermind, but he certainly had a knack for finding interesting targets to drive the aliens crazy. Alright, well, I would prefer to not trigger both groups at the same time. We could try to hack the mech. 49% chance to control the mech. But that's a little bit risky. Probably not worth it. Is anyone in range of that codex? Igor. But that doesn't matter. We should still move away from it a little bit. We do have running gun, so we could use that. And take a shot from, let's say, over here. Or throw a grenade. That's also not a bad plan. A grenade would actually be pretty nice. Okay, you know what, let's use run and gun here. And maybe move Shen out of the way. She's a little bit too close to the codex for my taste. And I think we'll open with a grenade. So that will shred the mech. We can hit all four of them, so let's go for it. No overwatch because I want to have all the actions available. Here. Okay, we'll be killing the mech, I don't want to risk a hack. Or we can shut it down. That was 97% chance. Should be doable. Yeah, might be better if we shut it down, actually. I like that idea. Oh great, I don't actually have a line of sight to the mech anymore. Well, that's slightly awkward. Well then, that is a little bit awkward. Not quite what I was looking for. What the heck do we do now then? Because this is a bit unexpected. Yeah, that actually kind of sucks. I might have to ignore it, which I would really prefer not to do. But our options are kind of limited now. I can kill the trooper with combat protocol. So, how about we just do that? Just going for the granted kills right now. That will do. And then, we can charge the officer. That will trigger the overwatch. We can also throw a grenade and then take a shot with Jane. That is a possibility. The problem is that if we stand very close to each other, the mech will probably use micro-missiles. That's going to be hard to avoid. It might be better to just melee him. Because at least then we'll be spread out. The only issue here is that we'll get flanked if we do that. I could always just throw a mimic beacon. But that feels like a bit of a waste. We could also take a shot from here, but that might be a bit too close to the codex. I don't know about this. We could take a shot from back here. 
Okay, let's spread out. And we'll take a shot from here. 84% and 50% chance to crit. There we go, we got him. Nice one. Now, that leaves us with Igor and Solomon. There's not a lot I can do. Let's spread out a bit. But without triggering Overwatch. Yeah, easier said than done. We could just dash and trigger the Overwatch. I would rather not lose concealment on Igor just yet. But maybe we should. I can take a shot at it. As you order, you from here. From me. That won't kill it, but we'll do some damage. And break Overwatch. So let's do that. We stayed concealed. Nice one. So... Well, obviously I can't kill it. That's not going to happen. Let's spread out. That's the best we can do, really. Just spread out a bit. Let's just go up here. That seems like a good idea to me. Someone will probably get hit, especially since they got high ground. Yep, he is using micro missiles. I mean, that was to be expected, really. He only hit one person, though, as far as I can tell. Here comes the trooper. He might also hit someone. Yep. Alright, that's fine. I can live with that. Now we can kill them. We saved the Mimic Beacons. That's the important part. That last... Sabotage attempt on the Advent Cannon. Ose and most of his team wound up in the nearest city center jail. Unfortunately for the others, by the time we got in there, he was the only one they were still keeping alive. Anyway, I was going to say, that last mission had four pods. Which means this one will probably also have four pods. And that means we should really save the Mimic Beacons. It just wasn't necessary to use them here. Anyway, let's finish off the mech, shall we? Without using anything fancy, preferably. It doesn't really matter who's going to do it. Bradford can take a shot. And one more. Line of sight is a little bit weird here. Can we get a line of sight without going up? Not really. Yeah, I think I have to go up. Fine, whatever, we'll do it. Not really a big deal. Maybe we should just slash. I will likely want to reload regardless. No slash. There, he's down. So, first pot down. We are still concealed, so let's take a look. That pod is still there, obviously. Let's not go too close. That would be bad. We will overwatch, just in case they decide to move. We need to get off this low ground. That's the general idea. For the most part, I had our people avoiding the city centers whenever possible. Security was through the roof, with advent checkpoints and chip scanners on every major thoroughfare. In retrospect, this mission was the closest thing we had to a trial run for our eventual rescue of the commander. Okay then. Well, we could use an extra turn or two to get some high ground on the left. But I don't actually see an obvious way up. Okay, this way. We could go there. But then we can wave goodbye to the early bird bonus, I suppose. But that's the safest way to do this. It really is. So, I seriously think we should do that. Yeah, and now we know there are two groups in that general direction. So, we're going with this. Okay, let's do it. We'll send Solomon up. This will take a turn or two to set up. Which is fine. The target is marked. They're moving. Now we should be able to see them permanently. The other problem with moving inside the city centers was the propaganda. Advent had taken to aggressively posting resistance mugshots. Surveillance footage, renderings, anything they could find to put our faces up in lights. It was exactly the kind of attention we didn't need. Alright, let's go. Will do. We need to set up on the high ground. 
Yeah, so now we will be able to see them because we got that ability. Whichever that one was. Target definition, that's the one. Yep. Okay, so repair to the high ground as well. And I think we can get started on the next turn. This will give us quite a bit of an advantage. We want to get a big bonus, but oh well. Our score is pretty decent, I'm trying not to ruin it. It was no secret that Osei loved the attention Advent had been giving him. If I was trying to avoid attention, he was more than happy to be soaking it up. He wasn't all that chipper when we found him in that Advent jail, that's for sure. So I can't go too close to that group because then we'll trigger the other one. I can't really move in and use the claymore. And unfortunately we don't have a sharpshooter, which means I'll probably just have to walk into the range. Yeah, we just need to walk into the range and trigger them. I don't see any other option, to be honest. There isn't really any other option, but that's it. Okay, well, I guess that's what we'll be doing. We can drop down with one person. Alright, let's do it. We don't really have a lot of options here. So, here they come. We got a Berserker, a Spectre, a Codex... And what else? And the Viper. So, the Viper should probably go down quickly. Because if the Viper pulls someone in, we'll trigger the other group as well. And I would rather avoid that. So, in theory, we could use the Claymore right now. I don't think that's a brilliant move. But hey, it's an option. And we could let Solomon throw a grenade. I'm not really convinced that's such a good idea. And the Berserker might be close enough to hit Solomon. I don't think we'll be killing the Berserker on this turn. We just don't have the damage. Question is, do we want to use a Mimic Beacon or not? That's a good question. One other thing we can do is conceal and then take advantage of Shadow Strike. That is not a bad idea, actually. Let's do that. That will give us a huge bonus to aim and crit. So there's a pretty good chance we'll just straight up kill the Viper. Let's try. Here, nice one. That was worth it. One down. Let's save Bradford for now because he has one of the Mimic Beacons. What do we do now? We can start doing damage to the Berserker, because that's 24 health. We could try to shoot the Codex. It's a possibility. Let's try. Okay, good one. And let's see if we can kill both the Codex and the Clone. I know where you are. We might be able to. I think Solomon can melee without being detected. Yes. Yeah, he should be safe like this. And then we can move further into the building. Sounds good to me. So, one down. That will also give him a plus one focus. Definitely useful. And let's move away from the Berserker. Yes, let's do exactly that. Yeah, just as far away from the Berserker as possible. Back here. That leaves us with Bradford and Igor. So Igor could try to kill the other Codex. Actually, that's granted. Do we want to move? I think we're fine standing over here. We could move back slightly. Just in case that group moves. Because we will almost certainly get revealed right now. Which means it would be useful to move away from that group. Let's see, where can we go? We could go here. Yes, we will be in range, we'll still have high ground, and we'll be very far away from the pod. Sounds good to me? So, get rid of the codex. Bye bye. Me 
And I don't think we need a Mimic Beacon, we'll be fine without it. It's just a Berserker and a Spectre. Let's keep the Mimic Beacon for something more dangerous, shall we? We can still take a shot at the Berserker. It's a pretty good one. Here, 7 damage, I'll take it. Now, is he in range to actually attack someone? He might be? He might be in range to attack Shen. No, he was just out of range, nice. Here comes the Spectre. Oh, and we can get more focus from this. So we could use Vault and then grab the focus, that's a possibility. The Spectre didn't use Shadow Bound, probably because he was out of range. So now we should be able to finish them off without triggering the patrol to the uh, left. XCOM needed a guy like Osei. We had more than enough grim faces and serious attitudes as it was. Losing him on Gatecrasher was a tough blow. Even with all the good cheer surrounding the commander's return. Okay, so Solomon should probably attack the Berserker. Might as well do it now because he's maxed on focus anyway. And I cannot attack the Spectre because then we'll trigger the patrol. So let's just attack the Berserker right away. Up you go. That will be good granted damage. Oh, we just almost killed it! <laughs> okay, that was a hilarious animation right there. It looked like he's falling down, but he actually didn't. Okay, that actually looked hilarious. Alright, so how do we do this to kill both the Spectre and the Berserker? I think Igor can finish off the Berserker, because that will do enough damage with Blood Trail. Yes, it will. Uh, actually, it might not, but let's take that shot anyway. No, 6 damage. Okay. I need ammo to hunt. I'm just looking at the Spectre right now. We can move a little bit closer to increase our chance to hit. So over here, that's still high ground. I want to do at least some damage to the Spectre, even if we don't kill it. Here, 8 damage, that will do. We got Bradford and Shen. So Shen has combat protocol, but that's only 4 damage, not enough. 89% on that guy. Okay, Bradford can finish off the Berserker and Shen will take a shot at the Spectre. We got 89% chance to... well, it's not a guaranteed kill, but I'm pretty sure she will have a higher chance than Bradford. And let's check. We can move a little bit closer. Yeah, Bradford has 81. I'd rather take a shot with Shen, because missing is going to suck. Here, oh no, we missed. Well then, never mind. That's not quite what I wanted to see, but okay. Well, I kind of have to kill the Berserker now. I don't have much of a choice. And unfortunately, I'm also standing out of cover. Let's just kill the Berserker. Just slash him, it's fine. He was stunned, but I think that was only one action stun, which means he was still able to attack. I didn't quite catch whether it was a one-turn stun, or one action stun, or two action stun. Well, in any case, here comes the Spectre. He will probably use Shadow Bound, which doesn't matter, because that doesn't do damage. And we will kill him, granted. There's nowhere he can go, where we wouldn't kill him. And then we can take care of the patrol. Okay. Is he going to move? Yep, he's moving. We can kill him with Solomon. That's going to be a granted kill, straight up. They're shifting the flag. They're moving to the side. You'll be fine, calm down. They are doing no such thing. Are we there yet? Alright, let's finish him off. Yep, that's a granted kill right there. Goodbye.
so now we got the patrol and I assume there's going to be one more group we still got both mimic beacons which is great all right let's not do anything overly crazy we can take our time to reload we know exactly where the patrol is thanks to our reaper we could actually enter concealment and hit them with a claymore that is not a bad idea let's enter concealment regardless uh, there's no need to pick up focus because our focus is maxed we could also set up an ambush because they are patrolling back and forth and we know exactly where they are going yeah i think it's best if we set up an ambush that works okay let's do that then sounds good to me so i think we can set up over here i'm pretty sure that will be in range and it's not like we're getting early bird bonus anymore so it's fine the only problem is that we got two rangers so our chance to hit won't be super amazing but it will be decent enough so i'm pretty sure that will be in range we will be able to see them or rather they will be able to see us now let's set up bradford that will be a bit far away but we will still have height advantage bradford jane and solomon can move a little bit closer maybe since he's melee and all that Okay, he can jump down. He'll have to be closer regardless. That will do. So, Overwatch and we'll wait a turn or two. Like I said, we are not really getting early bird bonus anymore. Yep, here they come. I think they will see us now. And if not, they will see us on the next turn. Okay, not yet. They will definitely see us on the next turn though. We can make sure by moving a bit closer with Solomon. Uh, I don't think I want to move much closer. Maybe a little bit. Okay, over here. And Overwatch. So, Overwatch with everyone. Maybe back up slightly with Igor. I wouldn't want to get revealed. So, let them come. Oh, now they are moving back. Seriously now? What the heck? Well, okay. We'll still get them, don't worry. We'll just move a bit closer. With one person at least. Okay, sure. Well, this will definitely do it. Do we want to move closer with anyone else? I kind of like my high ground, honestly. So, no. We are keeping high ground. This is a lot of setup for one ambush, but it's worth it. In before they stop patrolling. That does sometimes happen. Come on, are you coming back or what? Oh, now they are moving all the way around. Well, sure, they will see us eventually. Overwatch again. Come on. What's happening? Here. Yes, I know there's a group over there. Tell me something new. Any day now. Seriously? We are getting trolled. What the heck? Do we need any more reloads? No, we do not. This is getting a little bit annoying though. It's like they know we are here and they are staying just outside of our range on purpose. I mean, they are still patrolling, so I can just move even closer. And surely they will see us eventually. What the heck, let's just move watching. even closer. And let's move Shen forward. Let's move everyone forward. As much as I like high ground, the range penalty will be a little bit brutal here. Okay, let's move closer. We will be on the low ground, but the idea is to kill that entire pod before it gets a chance to act. 
Surely they will see us now. I mean, come on. In before they just leave and go in a completely opposite direction. Okay. As ordered. A little bit closer still. This is the weirdest ambush I ever set up. It's like we're playing cat and mouse. Okay, unless they go back in the opposite direction, they should see us on the next turn. Come on! You lazy bastards, what the heck? This is so weird. It's starting to get on my nerves, I was right, they just left. What the heck? <laughs> okay. This is so weird. Hey, now we can get their higher ground because why not? I, will I don't see why we wouldn't. The only problem is cover. Yeah, we should end our turn in cover, like up here, for example. It's a little bit risky otherwise. Okay, well, I'll take a smaller risk here. I just want to go up and set up on top of the building. Let's try to have at least one overwatch with Shen or so. Here. Okay, I don't want them to come back now. There is one more group on the right side, but we kind of knew that. I think they are coming back. They might see us now. No, they moved into the building now. It's like they are avoiding us on purpose. Peter is right here. So perhaps we should just hit them with a claymore or something like that. That might be a little bit problematic. I definitely can't throw it from where I'm standing right now. But we should be able to do it. I can just open the door. Let's open the door. I'm not throwing it now, because they will move. At least we know as much, they will move. Okay, so let's move into cover. Targeting, squad targeting. Oh, that is actually pretty nice. But let's not do it just yet. We don't need that against this group. Okay. Up here. So that we'll have cover. Alright, looks good. So Overwatch. Come on, you trolls. Yeah, they won't see us. Now they will see us, finally! That took long enough, this better be worth it. Okay, two hits, one miss so far. I would say that's pretty good. We almost killed the priest right there. That took like one third of the entire mission. One more shot. Missed. With 79%. Oh well. So, there are two priests. We can get the one in the back. Uh, can we use a claymore here? Yes, we... no. It's a free by free, so no. Okay. Well then, what do we do? I can kill the priest with vault. That's a possibility. Perhaps not needed. We also have Capacitor Discharge. And that will hit both the guys on the left. We got Combat Protocol. What about Jane? We can hit someone from up here. We can hit the priest from the flank. So how about that? Jane and Bradford both have the Mimic Beacon still. Let's use Bradford from up here because that's full cover. Yep, that's 85% chance to crit. Nice one. Oh, nice. He got her trigger. And we actually got running gun if we want to use that. Any point using that? No, probably not. Just take a shot at this fella. 
Unless we want to throw the beacon with him, because Jane has more options. What can Jane do? No, Jane doesn't have running gun. Unfortunately. And obviously I can't melee a purifier. That's not a good idea. We could throw a grenade. At the purifier, and then use capacitor discharge. But who's going to finish off the priest in the front? Igor can do that. Yep. He can guarantee a kill. We can do this without a Mimic Beacon. So hold on. First a grenade. From Jane. Just need to make sure we'll be close enough. Something like this. Okay, grenade. At the purifier. Tell me we can hit him. Might be a little bit problematic. Yes, we can hit him. Here, we might be able to destroy his cover as well. But the idea is to just weaken him. And then capacitor discharge should finish the job. So, there it is. Will it do 6 damage? I think it's like 7 to 10 damage, 5 to 8. So it might or it might not. Let's do it anyway. Do we want to move anywhere? I think we're fine. Well, let's move slightly. Because technically we can get flanked from where we're standing. Here, alright, let's do it. Hopefully that will kill the purifier. Here, we got him. Nice one. And the other guy is disoriented now. So the shield bearer, which means he can't use the shield. And now we can finish off one priest. He might get sustained, but that's always the case. Uh, hold on, we can kill both of them. Solomon can do that. I don't think I want to melee, because we know there's one more group. There should be one more group. We can probably kill him with a pistol from the flank. And if not the pistol, then vault. I want 100. 96. 96 should be enough. Famous last words. Seriously now? Well, I guess we still got Bradford. He can finish the job. And then the other priest. Igor can take care of that, probably. He won't have a granted kill. Yeah, that guy has full cover from this direction. Can we get high ground on him? Well, sort of, not really. What's our chance to hit again? 63. Not terrible. Could have been better. Well, I guess I'll take it. No full cover down here, unfortunately. I can't go outside, but then we lose concealment. We might keep concealment after this shot. I am at your service. Okay, let's do it. He's not really that dangerous with one health, but I would have preferred to kill him, I suppose. It was a good turn regardless. He's probably going to use stasis. Yep, that's what they usually do. And then we got the shield bearer. The shield bearer cannot use shield, because he's disoriented. Which means he will try to shoot someone with like 40%. 30. Oh no, he can use the shield. While disoriented? What? Okay, never mind. Now he's also burning. Okay then. So let's kill the shield bearer first. That should be pretty easy. We can even do it from the high ground. On the move. Works for me. Bye bye. And then the priest. The priest might get sustained, that is a possibility. Hopefully he won't, because then he might run away. 54. There, we got him, he's dead. Let's go grab Peter. We can get the squad bonus for the next fight, whenever that's going to happen. I guess we'll have to move in. To actually grab him, so might as well jump down. Alright, let's do this. this 
It's only for two turns. We probably won't make use of it, but who knows? Maybe we will. So here's Peter. Hello there. I heard you like killing aliens. Alright, let's get him out of here. The extraction zone is over there. Still quite far away, actually. Alright, so reload. And move. There's some focus over there, but we have maximum focus anyway. There's definitely one more group, so let's be careful. We still got two Mimic Beacons. So honestly, we are in a really good shape. I can't enter concealment anymore, but it's not like that matters too much. Let's stay on the high ground for now. Or maybe there isn't another group. I'm pretty sure there should be another group. The previous mission had four pods. I guess we'll find out. Either way, we are more or less done in here. Still, let's not do anything silly. Reload. There might be a group right on top of the extraction zone. That's what I'm thinking. So let's find out. Yep, there's a group over there. Okay, good. Let's see. I don't think it's a patrol. Probably not, but we can make use of high ground most likely. That is a pretty big group. A pretty nasty group. Well, I'm glad I kept the Mimic Beacons. That will come in handy right about now. So, let's just hit the Archon right away. Like so. Seven damage. We should be able to kill one Archon and then we'll throw the Mimic Beacon. That's what I'm thinking. So, Shen. This will give us line of sight. I don't really want to stand next to that fire, but it should be fine. It should be fine. So, Shen, you're next. Nice one. They do have quite a bit of dodge, so a graze is definitely a possibility. So Bradford has a beacon and Shen has a beacon, and we do have squad targeting active. Here's Jane. Here's Bradford. I don't think it matters who goes first. Bradford can go first. Bye bye. Then we'll throw the beacon. We still got Igor, we still got the Claymore. We have a lot of tools still. So, beacon. I can't actually see the other Archon, but he's somewhere around here. There, that will do. Peter. And we can still take a shot at something, like the Sectoid. And uh, no, just the Codex. I don't really want to shoot the Codex. Because then it will clone and I cannot kill the clone on this turn. We'll just Overwatch. That's our turn done. Here comes the Archon, we'll get a shot at the Archon. Here, 5 damage. Yeah, that's not too bad. Now, the Codex or the Sectoid might get an action. Because, yeah, the Sectoid will do 4 damage. No, he will not do 4 damage. Nice. So, the Beacon will counter everything. And then, we still have one more Beacon. Which is probably totally unnecessary, but we have it anyway. Alright, let's finish this. First, Jane can take a shot at the Archon. From up here. That's 94. Pretty sure it will be lower if I move towards the Archon. Here, 8 damage. Bradford will use the Beacon at the end of the turn. We can take a shot with Igor from the high ground. Sure, might also maximize our chance to hit. We still got squad targeting. 
And he's almost dead. Shen can finish him off or something. Can we get the codex? Uh, actually, we can attack the sectoid. I can almost... I can kill the sectoid, straight up. Nice one. Goodbye. So, that leaves us with Shen and Bradford with the beacon. So, Shen can finish off the Archon from up here, preferably. Or we can use Combat Protocol. Uh, no, this is a guaranteed kill. Bye bye. And let's just throw the beacon. I mean, might as well, right? It's not like we'll use it for anything else at this point. Here. And that's that. We can almost get Peter out of here. That will do. We don't even have to kill the Codex, but we might as well do it for the points. So, let's finish off the Codex. We can just hit it in the face. From point blank range. Good old shotgun to the face tactic. There we go, 11 damage, we almost killed it with that shot. Now it can't clone anymore. Just teleport. And now we can finish it. Just use command protocol or something. Whatever works. Come on, Shen. We are almost done here. So, command protocol, that's a guaranteed kill. And we're done. Well, almost. Enemy killed. Let's get out of here. We're done. We'll need one extra turn. Let's go, people. No slacking on the job. You guys can already get out. He'll get more than enough fights, don't worry. No need to ask twice. Here, does that? I'm out of here. Let's go. Get out of here. And one last person. My we are done. Five thousand? We all knew the risks going into the city. And it was as tough as we expected it would be. Still, we got Osei, and that was a win. We had been grabbing Advent gear whenever possible. It gave Shen a shot at reverse engineering their latest tech. Okay, so we can get a spider sealed. I'd rather keep my plasma grenades, so let's go with the spider suits. That's always nice for utility. Not to mention we get EXO suit as well. Early on Peter, will he join? Yes, he will. Oh, he's a grenadier. Nice. So he will definitely get that sealed. He also has shredder, demolition, tracer rounds. Nice. Very nice. What else did we get? Shadow step, sting, soul harvest, invert, deep focus. All right then. So that was mission four out of seven. It was no surprise that Advent had made an attempt on Anna Ramirez. What was surprising was that they actually managed to find her. See, Ramirez was one of the finest guerrilla operators we had run into. So I much so that we had convinced her to start training recruits of her own to spread the knowledge around. I'm not one to sing the praises of Advent, but even I'll admit it. I was impressed they tracked her down. Still, Ramirez is no easy mark. She managed to get a signal through to us right when Advent hit her camp. We knew Ramirez wouldn't back down from the fight, so if we had any intention of keeping her alive, we'd have to work fast. She had been training recruits in an old freight yard for a few months now, and I guess her little school had finally outgrown the shadows. Alright then, so that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.